Hey everyone, so obviously you can see here that I am currently editing this video. I actually just finished the first edit and um, from what I could tell, the video is hot garbage. I really do not like how this video turned out, but I don't have the time to reshoot, re-edit, and just, you know, redo everything for this video because I am working on other videos and I am currently and I am working on the glove of the No Way Home suit. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Uh, I'm sorry this video didn't turn out the way I thought it would, but I've learned my lesson and I will come up with a new way of showing you guys how to sew uh, the whole suit together. I thought this would work, but clearly after watching the video, it does not. So next videos will be a lot better just watch this video if you can if you actually need to um know how to assemble the mask but other than that yeah i am sorry this video is hot garbage <laughs> but yeah other than that uh enjoy the rest of the video if you can <laughs> i'm so sorry about this again hey everyone today i'm going to show you how to sew a Spider-Man No Way Home mask. Now before we get into the tutorial, uh, actually, wait, I, I gotta take this mask off, I can't. Ugh. Whew. All right. Now before we actually get into the tutorial on how to sew the mask, I just wanna say something. These videos on how to sew the Spider-Man No Way Home suit, they're not actual sewing tutorials. What I mean by that is I'm not literally going to show you guys how to work a sewing machine and you know how to pin and all this stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys how to sew. There are plenty of you know videos online on how to sew these things. Just kind of look them up and you know study them and you know also study your sewing machine. Rather, these sewing videos are going to be more of a how to assemble the different pieces together because well these patterns are really complicated and you know you have all these weird shapes and you don't really know what or where everything goes so that's what this tutorial series is going to be these videos are going to be more of a assembly tutorial rather than just you know uh, here this is where you pin this blah 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 you know I'm going to show you guys just how to put these pieces together so you can sew them yourself. And if you're thinking, wow, that's kind of lazy of you, this pattern probably, you know, confuses a lot of people. It confused me, you know, like where certain pieces go. So yeah, that's where I'm helping you guys at. I'm not here to show you guys how to sew, like I said, I'm just here to show you guys how to put all them together. All right, so let's jump over to the voiceover because I'm not gonna explain it while I'm on camera. First, let's take a look at the pieces we're working with. We have the back pieces, the sides, and the front of the mask. We want to first sew the back pieces together with an invisible zipper. Here are my terribly drawn sewing lines to show you guys what goes to what. The darker shade goes with the lighter shade, just so you guys know. After that, we'll focus on sewing the front and the sides. For the front of the mask, we need to sew the top points and the bottom points. Once you've done that, we can get to sewing the sides to the front. Now, sewing the back to the front gets a little complicated. First, we need to sew the top of the back to the top of the front. And now you can see the kind of shape we need to sew, which is basically starting from the eye and going down. Once you've got that, you've got your mask, and you just need to hem the bottom to finish it up. And that is how you get this mask. And I think it looks pretty good, even though, you know, there are some mistakes in the web lines and you know, some seam lines are kind of bumping out. I think it looks great and it works really well with this Andre Blend face shell, which, you know, I did an entire video on how I 3D printed it and everything. That video will be up here if you want to go check it out if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, I think this mask looks great. I think the clear dot spandex helps give the illusion of the dots. It also makes it a little shinier, you know, and I love the way the colors pop on camera and you know, since it's spandex, I can move my... But yeah, so here's a front view. Kind of a side view. Back. Another side. And yeah, I think this looks great. Because of this, it gave me a lot more confidence on, you know, what I'm doing with this tutorial series. And, you know, yeah, this just... Looks amazing in my opinion. And for those of you wondering what the next tutorial will be, it'll be on how to sew the glove. Not the entire arm, 
but literally just the glove. I finished this up. I guess this is a little teaser. And this part is probably the most complicated uh, section of sewing. So I will, you know, show you guys how to attach the fingers and what parts to sew first. And yeah, so next video will be sewing the glove. And then the one after that will be sewing, you know, the complete shirt section. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys also learned how to sew your own Spider-Man No Way Home mask or Far From Home or even Homecoming mask. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to donate to my Ko-Fi account for bigger projects. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.